Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have my owl crate. Uh, Aries is going to be a little bit later because it's under the tree. And look, my tree's decorated this time. I want to start finally filming my end of the year videos and so. And this came super late because my post office is stupid. The people don't, there don't know what they're doing. Um, anyways, this is the last box for 2019. After I get done unboxing this, then I'm going to put all of my thoughts together and rank all the boxes of 2019 in order from my favorite to my least favorite. And so, let's go ahead and open the box. And this was, uh, I got their code, their Black Friday code for this one, which gave me $5 off, which wasn't technically $5 off because of shipping. Um, so I saved like a dollar. And so, whoop, shit's come, stuff's come popping out. Okay, here's the card. It's like a little, uh, ooh, gossiping hens. I'm Southern, so we're gossiping hens. And I gotta turn it and get some light. And it's got the Christmas tree. Like, who's that? Hunk of specimen. So, yeah. Okay, there's the card. It's Tales of Trickery. So, dig right in. I see a candle. It is. Mount Ruin Fire and Cinnamon Chai. I don't really like chai and I don't like the smell of cinnamon, so. This is very Christmassy. And it's got a wood wick, so it's gonna make that crackle when you light it. So, I may light this on Christmas night. I don't know. But it is by Novelly Yours Candles, and I love the jar. And I love the lid. It is a, what ounce is it? Um, it's exclusive to Owl Crate. And you'll instantly be transported to the fiery volcano of Mount Ruin, inspired by Grace and Fury. I have not read that book yet, but I have it. And I know the sequel came out this year. So, yeah, it don't have the ounce on it. Oh well, but it's very big. I'm sorry if the sun is going to be affecting my face. I got my front door open to bring some light up in this mug. So the next thing is earmuffs with roses. Oh, I can't fit them on my face. Do I do it like that? Are they earmuffs? Am I just making myself look stupid? Caraval Rose earmuffs. So they're earmuffs, but I'm gonna have them like this. And they don't fit my ears, so I don't think this was a very good item, but it's cute. And I'm yelling because to hear myself. But yeah, it's very cute. It's got roses and it's Caraval. I love Caraval. I read Caraval this year. I got the limited edition finale box from Owlcrate and I haven't read Legendary yet. But these are cute. I love the fluff but they don't fit on top of my head. My ears are not up here. I'm not an elf. So I don't know. This may go to one of my kids. I don't know. Sam, come here. Let's see if it fits. I love roses. Oh, she's not an elf. If I do it like this, it fits. Okay, turn your face. It's just falling off a little bit over here. See? Okay. So, it may go to one of them. I don't know. Probably me. I like the roses. Okay. So. Does, it, does it have a smell? I smell something. It's the candle. Oh. I love cinnamon smells. Next thing is a box that 
doesn't look very nicely packaged. So is our crate becoming sloppy? I don't know. So what? It says breathe fire. And it's got a little, it looks like a little water bottle. Is this a hand warmer type thing? I don't know. I'm confused. I live in the south. It does not get that cold here. So this is not very useful to me. I'm putting in the sleeve. I don't know. So let's see what it is. Um... Stay warm while camping on icy forts with this exclusive hand warmer. You can use it over and over again and it comes with a little cozy sleeve. Inspired by Sky in the Deep and designed by Kit Kronk Studio. So it's a little hand warmer. Like I said, maybe once or twice during our winters it gets like freezing cold down in the teens. And that's rarely and so I don't know how useful this would be to me but it's still cool but the packaging it has the instructions on the back sky in the deep pan warmer place the metal piece between forefinger and thumb press it until it clicks and begins to crystallize and to recharge, place the heat pad in boiling water with the cloth underneath. So, okay. Hmm. Uh. One thing I was looking forward to is the book sleeve. And it says, it was always wise to be polite to books whether or not they could hear you. And it's got all this green ivy and like the parchment wise scroll pages and so let's see I got a stack of books over here because I need to do my November wrap up but let's see if it fits my whoop oh, so it fits a big size hardback and here's a regular size so if it fits a regular size, a big size hardback, then it's going to have enough room. It's going to be safe. This is my first book sleeve, so it's going to get a lot of use. And I like it. And it is from... Keep your books safe from harm with this exclusive book sleeve. Inspired by Sorcery Thorns and designed by Chatty Nora. I have not read uh, Sorcery, Sorcery Thorns yet, but I did get it in... One of the owl crates, and it was one of my most anticipated books of 2020, uh, 2019. I'm getting ahead of myself. Hmm. So, this good. All right, and then owl crate exclusive coloring book. What? Oh, it's got all the pins from the year. Okay. I like okay it's got all the pins from this year iron must be tested this was the first box that I subscribed to and I got the rest of the boxes from the past shop so oh okay so oh my favorite pin of the year with the cat spin the dawn uh, House of Salt and Sorrows, uh, Bone Houses, uh, Crier's War, and, uh, if you get, hope you get this message, something like that. Ooh, what was the other one? Uh, Winter Wood. Yeah. Oh, and it's got all the enamel pins in the back, so, yep, and it comes with a funky packaging job of colored pencils, so, yep, seems like my pencils are broken, 
So the packaging job bleh, this month. Seems like y'all were in a hurry. Christmas will still be there. Okay. It's not going to change days on y'all. Okay. So that looks like it's all the, it seems like that's all the goodies so far. Oh, the pen. Okay. Here's the last one in the book. And I was wondering what book is that from? So let me take it out of the plastic. Um, it's a building or a castle, palace type deal. I don't know. And it's got these green sort of vines. It's very plain and simple. And it's by Read and Wonder. So, yep. And then the book for the month is, uh, I was already spoiled for it, and I'm super excited because Kirsten White, I read Slayer at the end of last year and I loved it. It was a Buffy the Vampire Slayer retelling. So this is like a Camelot retelling. King Ar I think it's King Arthur or just Camelot. But it is the Guinevere Deception. I think I'm saying that way. Right. Guinevere, Genevere. But it's this exclusive cover and it uh, mm, mm. I don't know how I feel about this cover because I haven't, I need to see it side by side with the original, but here's the letter and it is, sorry for the lighting, but it is uh, shiny and it looks darker, which you can't really see the face of the girl, which is redundant. And it's got all this, um, pieces of foil. Oh, okay, I like that. I like the sword and the keys, I like that. And then the writing is green, I like that. So, it's Princess Guinevere has come to Camelot. And... And it's got Slayer and Chosen in the back. <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's just plain on the back. I'm sorry for the light. And it's signed in green. Let's see. Does it have any maps? And it's got on the list of her books she's written. Good God, but. And it's just plain chapter headings. So. I'm excited to read this. I loved Camelot when I was little. King Arthur and all the kings and queens and castles and all that sort. So, let's get to the magazine. The magazine it is just the spoiler card art on the front. It's got an interview with Kristen White. Okay, here's the uh, original and then the Alcrite. I kind of like the original better. It's purpley and gold. And then the Alcrite is like green and silver. Which. Mm, I don't know. To be honest, I don't like either cover. So I'm hoping that. Uh, there's a different cover in the future and then I can just trade it or something. I don't know. But it has, if you like the Guinevere Deception, you'll like uh, Once in Future, The Kiss of Deception in Sherwood. It's got a word search. It's got an interview with Novelly Yours who made the candle. It's got the photo challenge. And other releases this month are Diamond and Dawn, Children of Virtue and Vengeance. Uh, Star Sight and Reverie, which I'm getting very interested in because that cover. And then it's got a playlist on Spotify. Medieval Magic. Okay, and then the theme for next month, which I've already seen on Instagram. And we're getting the next Harry Potter mug, Order of the Phoenix. Which, I've already said to my kids that if it's pink for Dolores Umbridge. Nah. -uh. But the 
spoiler card is very pretty and it's vengeance will be mine every january box will include the next mug in our series from artist kara kozik for harry potter i wonder when they get done with the harry potter series mugs what series they're going to do next probably something like cassandra oh cassandra claire mortal instruments that will be cool because I'm actually reading that series. Oh, well, I'm stuck in the middle of reading that series. I haven't even given myself any time to read it. Or probably like, mm, uh, what's it called? Throne of Glass or uh, Cruel Prince or uh, Court of Mist and Fury. Something like that. I don't know. I don't. I haven't read any Sarah J. Mass books and I have Throne of Glass. And I wanted to read it this year, but I just never got to it because I didn't prioritize it. But I wonder what the next series is going to be. If you, I want, I want to know your guesses down below what the next series of mugs will be. Yeah, and I think she's doing seven. She's done our. She's already done three mugs, I think. She's done Haggard Touch. She's done. Uh, Goblet of Fire. I know she did the uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. So she's got three more to do, maybe? I don't know. Mm. But yeah, leave your thoughts down below on what the next mug series might be. That is it for my Alkite unboxing. Now I need to go work on ranking all of these. I don't know how I'm definitely going to do the video yet. I may show... Uh, some of the items that I'm using and then a pile of the items that I haven't used at all I don't know but I need to go rank these boxes this one is definitely not going to be up in the top three but anyways if you like this video please give it a thumbs up sorry for the sign uh, hit subscribe comment down below let me know how your December is going. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what your guess is for the next mug series. And I'll see you in my next video.